Decimals number 18, Time Clocks and Hours Worked. I felt compelled to make this video because I saw a post online that a woman said she couldn't explain to her coworker who had worked 16.80 hours that she didn't work 16 hours and 80 minutes. Well, there's only 60 minutes to an hour, so that means she would have worked 17 hours in the first place. But let me explain where the error occurred, okay? She worked 16.8 hours, all right? When you look at a clock and you split the clock up into quarters, all right? There's 15 minutes in each quarter, see? One-fourth, 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 all right? Anybody who knows how to tell time on a clock knows that each number represents five minutes. So, each one of these is 0.25 because a quarter is equal to 0.25. You know, in a dollar, there's four quarters. They're each 0.25 cents each, okay? So, a quarter of an hour is 0.25, which is equal to 15 minutes. That's where the confusion comes in, okay? That's not the minutes. That's the part of the hour, okay? It's one quarter of an hour. It's 0.25 of an hour. If you put two of these together, it would make half an hour, which would be 0.5, which would be 30 minutes, right? When it's down in the six, it's at 30 minutes, okay? If you were to count three of these, one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth, it would equal three-quarters, three-fourths. And three-fourths is 45 minutes. If you know how to tell time, you know that when the minute hand is pointing to the nine, that it's at on the 45. You would say it's 2.45 in the afternoon or 6.45 in the evening. So, that three-fourths is equal to 0.75. It would be like having three-quarters, three pieces of 25 cents. You would have 75 cents. But that three-fourths, that 0.75, is equal to 45 minutes. Okay? So how can someone work 16.8 hours? Well, let's look at this. We now know that 45 minutes is three-quarters of an hour, 0.75 of an hour, 30 minutes is 0.5, that's a half an hour. 15 minutes is a fourth of an hour, like a quarter, 0.25. Five minutes would be 0 0.0833. Now, the reason the line is above here is because the three goes on for a long time, and that's a way of saying the three repeats, okay? One minute turns out to be 0 0.0166 of an hour, okay? This is how much of the hour... Okay? Okay, it's not money. It's how much of the hour, a decimal point of the hour worked. So, one minute is point zero one six six. The way to find that out is you take, you go in your calculator and you put one for one hour divided by 60. 60 minutes, and it comes out to 0 0.0166, and actually it says 6667 or something like that. It, it goes on, but I didn't count those, and I just stopped it there and put the line there, okay? So you can actually just do this, 0 0.016. So let's say we're going to figure out what 0.80 is, all right? So pardon my... Uh, focus there is giving us problems. We're going to find out what 0 0.80 is. Now, you can either do 0 0.80 times 0 0.016, or we could do it this easier way. Well, that might be easier really up here, but let's do it this hard way so that you can actually see what's going on. So we're going to take 0.75, okay? That's 45 minutes. All right? That 0.75. We're going to add one minute to it. 0 0.0166, and we're going to get 0.7666. Let's add another minute. Now we're at two minutes, okay? 
You add it up and it comes to 0.7832. Let's add another minute. Now we're at three minutes that we've added, okay? That comes to 0.7998, and to round it off, your boss is being nice, rounding it off to eight, okay? So that's 45 minutes and three minutes. That's 48 minutes. So, 0.80 is equal to 48 minutes. That means she worked 16 hours and 48 minutes, and she would be paid for 16 hours and 48 minutes. She must have either did a little extra overtime past the half hour or past the hour, or she got off work 12 minutes early and didn't complete her day by 12 minutes. Either way, to figure out your time and your pay, Keep in mind that 0 .0166 is one minute of an hour, and when you see point something hours worked, that doesn't mean that it's minutes. That means it's part of an hour, and 0.75 is three quarters of an hour, right? That is how you figure out your paycheck, your time card, and how much you've worked. I hope you understand this. I hope I was clear enough, and I hope this helped. See you next video.